Welcome everybody to another game with Right Start Mathematics. We're going to be playing Corners with Eights. This is a game that was asked for by Andrea on Facebook. So Andrea, this one's for you. This is Corner with Eights. It's game F22.1 from the Math Card Games book, which is written by Dr. Joan A. Cotter. I'm your host, I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler, and let's get started with Corners with Eights. So our objective of this game is to practice adding fractions. We're gonna also practice changing improper fractions to proper fractions. Now some of you are going, I do not remember what an improper fraction is, an improper fraction, I'll let me out, help you out here. An improper fraction is something like 9 eighths. Why is it called improper? Well, they used to, way back when, say that a fraction could only be something less than one. So when they expanded the definition of fractions and said a fraction can equal one or be more than one, like nine eighths, some people went, mm, that is not right, that is not proper. So they started calling them improper fractions. So a proper fraction would be something like one and one eighth. So we're gonna practice changing these as we're going through and adding our fractions. Our cards and layout, we'll need the corner cards. Two to four people can play it. With the layout, each person draws four cards, just like the regular corners game, and then they lay them face up for everyone to see. Our object of the game is to get the highest score, just like our regular corners game. And our play is gonna be the same as corners three. Now, the corners that we talked about in one of my previous blogs was where all the things added up to multiples of five, five, 10, 15, or 20. Corners three is we want them to add up to multiples of three. So you've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18. So we're gonna have our things add up to multiples of three. Our scoring is where things get different. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same game. It's the scoring that makes us different. The numbers on the cards are can be considered eights. So let's go look at a game and I'll show you what this is all about. Okay, here are, here are my corner cards. I'm gonna lay them face down. Every player takes four cards, two, three, four. I guess I have too many here. We lay them face up where everybody can see our cards. Now I'm just gonna play against myself here, but if I had another person, we'd have their cards being shown here and here. We're just gonna work with the one here. The rules say the person with the lowest green number starts. If you've got more than one green number, then of those two, you go with the blue. Or the way I just do it is we just start with a card. Okay, so I've got one here. All right, so I'm gonna match blue and blue, green and green, red and red, black and black. I need them to add up to multiples of three. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So I could do seven and one, that's eight, not a multiple. Seven and two, hey, that's nine. I'm just gonna do that one right now. So that gives me nine, and remember, they're all eights, so it's actually gonna be nine eights. So here I've got my paper. I'm gonna write it here and then I'll bring it closer, you can see it. So I've got nine eights, and I wanna change this over to a proper fraction. So I can say this equals one and one eighth. So here, I'm gonna bring it closer again so you can see with the camera, there we go. So this is what I've got written so far, okay? If we had other people, they would play their hand, next person would play. Since I'm just playing against myself, I have to give myself another card here. Since I'm just playing against myself, I'm just gonna take the next turn. We always play on the last card played. Sometimes it helps to mark the last card played. I'm actually gonna mark it with a centimeter cube, just to remind us. So I put this here, so I can do 10 and one makes 11, because it's not a multiple. This will be five, not a multiple. Four and one is five, not a multiple. Three and one, not a multiple. Let's look at the 10. 10 and nine, 19, no. 
This is going to add 20, no. 11 and 14, no. Let's try the 8. 8 and 2, 10. 8 and 5, 13, no. 8 and 8, 16, no. 17. It's funny that none of my cards can be played on here. The books say that the, that the player will skip a turn. Most kids don't like doing that. So I'm actually just gonna trade a card in. This is one, a family adaptation that we have. So I'm gonna trade a card in, I'll put that one at the bottom. I grab the new card. Well, I know these guys can't do anything. Let's try this one. Oh, right off the bat, look at this. Five and one make six. This will be 17, no. Eight and six, 14, no, not a multiple. So the only thing I can do is right here, Five and one gives me six. I'm going to move this to my last card played on my score card. I'm going to say six eighths because remember I got six points here. So I've given myself six eighths. So I'm going to add my six eighths to my one and one eighth, which gives me a score now of one and seven eighths. Okay, let's keep going. Let me get a new card. This is my last card played. So four and one five, this is 12. Okay, that would work. I can play that card. Let's just see what else I have. 14, nine, this would be an option. Well, I wanna get the highest score possible. So I'm gonna be a lot happier with 12 eights. Six and two, 10, 14. This would give me 15 points. That's a multiple. Right here, this would be a multiple of three, 15 points. I'm gonna do that. Now, nine, let me turn this back around here. Nine has a line, you can just barely see it there in my camera. Nine has a line, six does not. So when I turn this upside down, it's not two sixes, it's a nine that has a line and a six, 15. Okay, I'm gonna move this over. So now I've got, there really camera come in there. I've got 50, I just scored 15 eights. Now I can translate this to get my final score one of two ways. I can make this right away be one and seven eighths and then add my one and seven eighths to one and seven eighths. So that gives me a score and I'm adding that now to two and 14 eighths which would be the same thing as two and oop, three, excuse me, three and six eighths. Now I don't have to worry about changing this to fourths. It'd be three fourths. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep everything in the eighths. I'm just worrying about proper and improper fractions. So now I've got three and six eighths. Now another way that I could add this up. So let's say this wasn't here. So I've got 15 eighths. I could just simply add that right away to my one and seven eighths. Because again, I'm going to do this a different way. So pretend that's not there. So 15 eighths plus one and seven eighths is going to be one and 22 eighths. And now I can change this into a proper fraction, which is going to be three and six eighths. Either way you do it is fine. There's no one right way. Sometimes you may want to do it this way. Sometimes you may want to do it this way. But the point is, is when I'm done with my turn, I'm going to have my score either done this way or done this way, as long as I come up with three and six eighths when I'm adding these two together. So let's do one more just to make sure everybody's comfortable. Okay, so let us me take another card here. Okay, now remember we play on the last card played or if you remember a regular corners game, I can do a corner at any time as long as it's my turn. So let's just see right off the top and see if I can do anything here. So six and two is eight. That's not a multiple of three. Six and 10, no. Six and eight, no. Six and nine, oh yeah, okay, that's 15. But let's see if this over here works. So I've got 15. Oh, this boat. These are both multiples of three. So I can put my card right here and I'm going to get 15 
eighths plus 15 more eighths. So I've got 30 eighths. Also, this is my last card played now. So let's go to scoring. So what do I have? I have 30 eighths. I'm going to add that to this. Okay, so I've got the 30 eighths. I can either transpose this immediately or I can add it to this and then transpose it or change it into a proper fraction. I think I'm just going to add it like this. I'm going to do 3 and 36 eighths, which is going to be the same thing as, well, I know this is going to be 4, this is going to be 4 and 4 eighths. So I'm going to say 7 and 4 eighths. So that's my score. And we keep going from here until we've played all of our cards. So again, it doesn't really matter how you do this. We're just going to add them and continue on with this. And notice how we keep going with it. So we just add it up. As you saw with this game, the learning portion of it is in the scoring. It's not so much in the playing of the game, it's the scoring. So that's how we play Corners with Eights. Thank you, everybody. Go have a wonderful day. And Andrea, thank you for letting us know that you needed this video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.